talking with Jammin. Uh, he's got something special. You guys have seen some of the, the sneak peeks rolling out slowly on social media, but I'm going to turn it over to him and talk about the uh, X57. Is that right? X57. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So the, the gun design, you have to think about, you know, HK had a UCP and an MP7. It was a pistol and PDW combo. Right. But we worked backwards. We started the Rock 57, and then we came out with the X57. Right. And this is its own separate gun. I've seen some comments. People think it's a chassis gun. It's not. It's its own gun. Okay. It uses the same fire control and internals as the Rock 57. So if there's a binary trigger you can get. We're working to try and get one out there. It'll also fit in this. It, it uses the same magazine as a Rock 57. Obviously, it'll take the standard 23 round, but this one has a 17 round extension to give nice. you 40 rounds of 5.7. Absolutely. And of course, we're going to offer it initially in a pistol. This is the pistol brace that comes with it. Two position, open and close. We're probably gonna add a third one in between here soon, but we will eventually do a rifle version of it. Yep, uh -huh. absolutely. One of the great things that I like about it is uh, obviously you're gonna get a little bit more rail space than some of the other uh, PCCs, PDWs. Uh, got some rail space on the side and, uh, and yeah. on the bottom it, as well. And this, this actually comes off. So this this piece right here, it's a tri picatinny Okay. It, it actually comes off to, to reveal some M locks. You can do M locks or just a picatinny down That's there. Very, so you'll very have important. mounting options that you can kind of customize how you want yeah. on the front. And you did say that the action and everything is working based off of the 5.7 the rock, rock. The Rock yeah. 5.7. Uh, all the little bits and pieces, the extraction, the ejection, fire control, everything is based on a rock. So you can share that. You have a pistol, and then a PDW, you can share most of the common pieces. Yep, and of course, uh, running 5.7 ammo, uh, naturally, that should be, you know, pretty, I, pretty understandable. I, I feel like, so NATO 20, 30 years ago wanted a pistol and PDW combo. Right. I feel like we're the first ones to do it right. Yep, I think so. I think so. I've had, uh, the rock already and have had uh, a really great time shooting that. It's ran flawlessly and I can only imagine this is going to do the same thing. Uh, any idea about when you're going to have this out? So, so where we're at with this, it's a concept gun, sure. but it's a gun we're doing. Okay. So it's not like we need to think about it, we're yeah. doing this, right? right? Right. So where we are, this is uh, high-end 3D printing for these guns. We 3D printed it, we tested it, it runs fantastic. What we have to do at this point is we have to have injection molded molds or four major components that we need to injection mold. Right. We're working on those molds, realistically you're looking at 10 months. From there, 10 months get the molds and then dial everything in, then it'll be brought to market. Okay. So you're looking so at a year. Probably a year. And then is there a MSRP that you're aiming for? The, the target price on this is $9.99, ah. including the front the front and rear. You get the front and rear um, MBUS Pros. Nice. No optic on it. Of course. But, but with, it comes with the Radiant charging handle, nice. standard Air 15 charging handle. So you can customize that and change yeah. it out. And then uh, front rear and bus pro, $9.99 is the target price. Yeah, that's 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 perfect. Uh, you know, that's something that my cameraman and I were talking about. Yeah. Where do we think that this is going to land? And yeah. I was like, yeah, well, I think we're okay, right so there. here's my thing. I want as many people who can get it, who can as possible to get it, right? Absolutely. We could yeah. probably say three thousand dollars, some ridiculous, because it's just that cool of a gun, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we put it at nine ninety nine, people can afford it. They're going to be able to buy it and so. spreading more freedom. I think so. Well, Jammin, thank you so much right. for this. Appreciate it. I really thank do you. appreciate it. All right. God bless. All right. So everybody's been asking about it. We've got uh, we've got the crink here. You know, they're always saying, where crink? Here crink. Here crink. <laughs> so tell us about that. So yeah, at SHOT Show, we're happy to announce that the crink is going to be available in February. Um, so we're finally at that release date everybody's been waiting for. Um, so upon launch, we're going to launch the crink in a 5.56 configuration. Um, from there, we're going to move forward. We're going to go to 300 Blackout, 545, and 762 by 39. Um, at launch, we're going to be available in JMAC furniture, the new nice. crank furniture from JMAC. Nice. We're going to have wood options. Um, each crank is going to come SBR ready, so it's going to come with the folding rear trunnion as opposed to just a puzzle piece trunnion with the brace on it. Okay. But they're all going to be shipped with the brace. Um, okay. We're not going to sell them as SBRs. All right. Um, so yeah, this is available February. Um, and now, do you have any questions on this before yeah. we move on? What uh, what type of muzzle devices are you going to ship these with? Uh, is there going to be several different ones uh, for suppressing, or uh, how does that going to work out? So, just because there's no reason to pin and weld these, because they're going to be too short regardless, they're all going to come with that crank booster at first. Okay. Okay. That's not to say in typical PSA fashion, we don't come out with some that are okay. suppressor ready from the factory. Um, but to begin with, they're gonna come with that traditional crank booster to be as clone correct as possible. Okay, sounds good. All right, so there's that. Uh, and then we have 
Uh, the next one that really caught my eye is this guy right here. This is this is really, really interesting. You're calling it the Vuk, is that right? Yep, so the Vuk, um, if you can't tell already, we took some inspiration from the AK-521. Um, the Vuk is kind of our thought process is we've cloned all the AKs we want to clone. How do we uh, expand on the AK platform and yep. bring it to the modern era? So. What it is, is it's kind of a combination of a Jackal and an AK. Um, and it's it's just our thought process of, okay, AKs are cool, everybody likes AKs. How do we make them better? Mm -hmm. So you put a monolithic upper on there, you're ready for optics, you don't have to deal with the side rail that you normally deal with with AKs. Um, you've got your monolithic rail, so it's super sturdy up here. You want your lights, your lasers, anything you want to hold zero, it's going to hold zero. Eight position adjustable gas block. Um, we're gonna launch this in 5.56, and then we'll have 7.62 and 5.45, possibly in the future as well. Um, again, on these, you know, you're gonna have a 13.7 with suppressor ready. We'll have all the popular suppressor manufacturers, silencer code, dead air, okay. AAC. Um, this one, again, will kind of give you a better idea on that 308, what we were talking about with the integrated um, adapter in the back, so it's a real clean look. Um, you don't have to deal with the the adapter plate. Yep. Um, and then the other thing about AKs is, you know, a lot of people don't like the, the safety selector. Yep. So this has AR controls. It'll take an AR trigger. So it's, Interesting. Yep. it's kind of what we think is where the AK should go from here. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. You're also going to have the, you know, some rail space here for lights or possibly, uh, you know, some lasers. If you're liking the side mount, the laser. Uh, right. IR laser and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's really, really interesting. So, right. And then a, a non reciprocating uh, flippable charging handle yeah, as well. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So, there's the VOOC. So, we'll get some uh, additional pictures of that for you guys so you can take a closer look. All right. So, one of the other things that you guys are working on is the um, concept for a bullpup jackal. Is yep. that right? Yep. The so, old can. Yeah. So, tell us, tell us how you were able to pull this together. So the old can, um, the idea is for years people have been asking us, you know, please make a bullpup. Um, so what we thought is what better way to do that than with our upper we've already developed. Um, so you got a long strip piston bullpup design. So this is going to be compatible with any of our Jackal uppers, um, short of the 308 when it comes out. Uh, there will be plans to possibly adapt that into a full pump as well. But for right now, 556 five, Strand of Black, if you have an upper, you can purchase the old can lower and have your own bull pump at home. Um, obviously, with some of the shorter models, you're going to run into SBR restrictions, so yep. keep that in mind. You can turn out if you end up going with this. Um, <laughs> um, so, you know, what kind of questions do you have on it? Man, I. To be frankly honest with you, I am not very smart when it comes to bullpups. So yeah. uh, obviously this is kind of being pushed by the customers. You obviously want everybody to kind of vote on it over on the website yep. if this is something that you guys want to push forward on. Yep. Uh, and you know, are, are we going to be able to see uh, additional accessories or uh, trigger upgrades or any of those types of things moving forward? Is that yeah, something yeah. you thought about? Yeah, for sure. So um, at launch, there would just be the, the stock trigger that we have. Um, but then after that, you know, we love we love to have customers have the option to customize stuff. So we'll, we'll have all kinds of options. Um, the pistol grip is a, is a just a standard AR pistol grip. So from the factory, if the customer doesn't like that, they can change that to whatever they like. Um, the safety as well is a standard AR safety. Um, you got ambidextrous mag release from the factory, um, and then. The only thing is you, you can't do an A and B bolt catch, but yeah. we might have an option for that in the future as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, same thing as a Jackal though, you know, this is fully monolithic, so it's as stable as you can get. You want to mount your lasers on there, you want to do whatever, whatever needs to hold zero, you got it. So, okay. Awesome. Um, that's, that's pretty much it though. I mean, I think it's cool, but if you guys think it's cool, go to the website and load on it. Absolutely. Absolutely.